Clay Ricks here with the Chisholm Trail Squadron. I had quite a few questions coming up about the banner that I towed during the most recent fun fly on the 4th of July. Uh, what I did was I towed an American flag using my Multiplex Fun Cub and <clears throat> it worked out quite well. Uh, first try really didn't give me any problems. Um, so I was going to go through what I actually done here. Uh, I've just got my, my simple American flag and uh, this is a, a flag from Walmart. It's uh, just a $7 uh, cheap flag that you can buy. Um, it's designed to be used uh, in your car window. It's usually got a, a white plastic rod that goes through this white piece here. And uh, I just simply removed the white plastic rod and in place I used a uh, carbon fiber if you can sell here in the ends and that carbon fiber runs the length of this uh, the reason I chose this flag was for this pocket actually uh, I was worried that with any other type of flag or banner it would be hard to, to keep the, the carbon fiber glued in this area and uh, I figured I would fight with that so I opted for one that had a pocket sewn into it uh, now the key to making it fly straight, that's been the, their million dollar question here. And the key to that is this bridle right here. Now the way I did this, uh, I did quite a bit of research on the matter, watching YouTube videos, uh, researching it on RC Universe, and <clears throat> pretty much what I come up with was that the bridle needed to be closer to the top than it is to the bottom and as you can see I got my knot tied in that fashion uh, the other key was these these weights here at the bottom now I've got four lead fishing weights these are just cheap fishing weights that you can buy in the uh, fishing section at Walmart also and 30 pound test uh, fishing string also bought Walmart so you tie the bridle that's just a, a double overhand knot right here with a little leader going to the swivel. Now the purpose of that swivel is so that the flag can flex and can twist without putting any stress on the string that's going to your airplane. Then the other key down here at the bottom I tied a double overhand knot for this weight so that it would have some considerable hang below the flag and it worked out quite well. I started out I mean, as you can see, I've got five weights here. Uh, it started out with just three, the, the swivel weight, whatever you want to call it, and these two clamp-on weights here. Uh, after some testing, which consisted of having someone drive me down the road and me hanging this out the window, uh, discovered that it needed two extra weights in order to track uh, nice and straight up and down. Uh, the other key I found out towards the end of the weekend was that this string needs to be glued here at the top. Uh, I had hot glued it in order to keep my my bridle in the right position. Uh, towards the end of the week, uh, that glue actually broke and the bridle changed positions on me to something like this. And what ended up happening was a flag would try to track something like that. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind is uh, make sure that you glue that string inside that carbon tube. And if I didn't clarify it earlier, the string is running through the carbon rod. That's just a carbon rod that you can buy at any local hobby shop, usually for six or seven dollars. Um, and it's cut to length using a Dremel tool. The other key is let me get this stretched out here, is you want to make sure your string going to your plane <clears throat> is the appropriate length. The idea is, is that you never drag the flag. So you lay the flag out in front of your aircraft knowing the distance that your aircraft takes to take off you make your string that long. And I can add in a link to a different video in which you will see that the flag is laid out in front of the plane 
the plane takes off and then <clears throat> as the plane takes off the flag rather than drag it just lifts straight up and goes into the air and that's to prevent the plane from getting any extra drag that could possibly cause you to crash or tear the flag or banner up whatever you may be working with uh, on the other end on the string end or the plain end of my string just another simple fishing swivel nothing special uh, I opted to do that also just so it would be easier to keep up with the end of the string and it's a hard metal ring that going into my quick release is easier to manipulate and easier to handle uh, now that's the other question I've gotten is how did I rig up my quick release my quick release is simply the release that comes with the multiplex fun cub it is a four channel aircraft that's optional five with the flaps which I use and optional six with the tow hook release designed to tow gliders or banners uh, I have it hooked up to the gear channel on my DX6i uh, just with the flip of a switch the mechanism comes up to the lock position and flip it down into the unlock position uh, the reason I went with that is for to me obvious uh, I want to take off with the flag but I don't want to land with it I don't want to drag it I don't want it to, to hit the ground before my plane does and cause it to crash so what I'll do is fly the plane into a pattern for several minutes uh, however long I want to fly it and then come by drop the flag in front of me circle around and then land the plane without the flag in tow uh, very very simple mechanism to set up like I say it comes with the multiplex fun cub uh, that is also a key the plane itself is key to the success of this uh, you want to make sure that you use a, a stable aircraft something that you're comfortable flying um, something that you don't have to continually uh, manhandle it so to speak uh, you want something that will kind of fly itself very stable and it needs to have plenty of power uh, this plane flies easily at half throttle with no banner it uses pretty much three quarter to full throttle at all times pulling the banner it's considerable amount of drag so you want to make sure you have plenty of power and a stable airplane. I really like the fact that it had the flaps that allowed me to take off faster and it allowed me to slow the plane down and get some better shots of the uh, banner tow in itself. Uh, I believe without that it wouldn't have flown quite as well. Uh, in the release mechanism if you don't go with a plane that's already set up with it such as the fun cub uh, through all the research that I've done you really want to put your tow release uh, somewhere near the center of gravity uh, near the tail is not optimal uh, it, as it will cause you to yaw in uh, some undesirable ways uh, with it at the center of gravity it really seems to let the plane fly like it ought to and uh, and just simply tug on it not tugging in a particular direction and have problems with climbing or descending or turning uh, due to the tail being drug. Um, that's uh, pretty much across the board on any research I've done in regards to tow planes uh, whether it be for gliders or for banners. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any further questions uh, you can either call me uh, email. Uh, I will put this on YouTube so you will be able to comment down in the comment section below. Um, I'll do what I can to answer any questions you have. Um, anyway, clear skies. Have fun flying.